In Hernandez murder trial, testimony today that put the former Patriots player DNA at the murder scene of Odin Lloyd. News Center 5's Liam Martin was inside the courtroom and he's live for us in Fall River tonight. Liam? And there were two pieces of evidence, JC, that allegedly placed Hernandez at the murder scene. The defense was able to raise some doubt about at least one of those pieces of evidence. The marijuana joint found at the murder scene had the DNA of two men on it. And nothing but the truth, so I hope you got I do. According to this forensic specialist with the state police. The DNA profile obtained from this item is a mixture of DNA from at least two individuals. Diane Biagiotti says one of those individuals was Odin Lloyd. The other, Aaron Hernandez. The DNA profile from Aaron J. Hernandez matched the deduced DNA profile from this item. And the statistics not in Hernandez's favor, according to the analyst, a one in 40 quadrillion chance that it's not his DNA on that marijuana joint. How many zeros does a quadrillion have? A quadrillion is one with 15 zeros after it. But the DNA on this spent shell casing, an important piece of the prosecution's case, is far less conclusive. You can see from this chart, state police could only get a partial DNA profile, though it did match Hernandez. The DNA profile from Aaron J. Hernandez is consistent with this DNA profile. And the defense scored points here, arguing that blue gum that was attached to the casing could have contaminated it. Would you agree with me, Ms. Fijati? That there is a high likelihood that the DNA on the chewed blue chewing gum would be transferred to that shell casing that is attached to it. Yes, I would agree with that. And the state did not test that blue chewing gum for DNA that could have put this issue to rest. Shiana Jenkins, by the way, was in court today. Hernandez telling her as he was leaving, I love you, girl. She is slated to take the stand toward the end of this trial. Live in Fall River on Lee Martin, WCVB News Center 5.